Hello, nieces and nieces. How are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I'm Savings Fashionista, and over here we do mainly things fragrances, whether it's body or home. Today we are here to talk about my first post candle burn for the year of 2023. I do these twice a month, and um, I call them bi-monthly post candle burns. So I am here to give you the very first one for this year. If you have not subscribed, if you would, please subscribe to the channel and go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. It's not going to hurt anything. It'll help. Okay, so I have my candles positioned here. We have quite a few to go through this time because I did some blending. So I have, I think, more than I normally have within a two weeks time frame. So I'm just going to pull them. We're going to randomly, or I'm going to randomly talk about them to you. I like to do this like we're just sitting over tea and crumpets and talking about candles. So here we go. This was one of my Christmas candles that I pick up every season. This is the Hot Cocoa and Cream. This candle has a very sentimental nostalgia to it for me. The fragrance notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallow. I remember when I was a kid, um, my grandmother raised my cousin and I, well, actually my great grandmother, raised my cousin and I um, together and at nighttime, I guess when we would get a little restless or whatever, she would make us like this homemade um, hot milk. We called it hot chocolate milk. So what she would do is just, um, heat up some milk on the stove and add some of that bitter powdery chocolate and the brown thing with some sugar in it and it would just be so good and it just brings back so many memories and this actually smells like that to me it puts me in the mind of it because this is a very creamy lactonic like candle because you definitely can smell the milk note as well as the marshmallow and of course the chocolate so again this is the hot cocoa and cream the next one is also a, um, one of my favorite Christmas burns. This is the Peppermint Sugar Cookie. This candle, I really, really like this candle. So let's read the scent notes and I'm going to tell you why. This candle has crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookies. The reason I like this is for the butter note. This is probably the only candle that I can pull out of my memory or schema that has that creamy buttery note to it i can still smell it but what balances it out is definitely the peppermint i love the way this candle smell it is just such a gourmand kitchen tease i really really like it like it like it like it so um again this is the peppermint sugar cookie this is a kitchen burn i did burn this in the kitchen it fills up my entire kitchen space as well as the eat-in kitchen area. So this is one of my candles that I hoarded this year. I bought a case of these. This is the Blue um, Berry Marshmallow Bar. I bought these because I was not lucky enough to get the Mar Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. That's one of my favorite candles. I was not lucky enough to get it. It was sold out every time I went online to get it. But this is kind of like that with just a tarty blueberry note not a sugary candy blueberry but it's more of an authentic blueberry note in my opinion combined with the marshmallow so you have sugared blueberry sweet vanilla toasted marshmallow and I have been burning these in the bedroom oh and the burn experience on the other two they were really nice but the burn experience here it was a little weird this right here, this, for some reason, although it looks tall, this candle dudded out. I mean, this wick dudded out. I could not, it would not stay lit. So that's why you get the tunnel in here because we did have um, a dud out wick. But other than that, it performed well. It fills up my entire bedroom space. For this to be a marshmallow vanilla like candle, with a hit of hint of blueberry, it really does fill up a large space. Very nice candle. And you can pick these up in stores now. I think they still have them in store. This is a very new candle. It is on the floor now. It is part of the spring collection. 
this is fresh sheets and yes I did pay regular price because I just had to see what it was about so this um, has crisp citrus clean lavender and watery apple in it I bought this candle and was so excited about it because last spring when I discovered the wallflower bulbs I purchased like how many I purchased like 10 of them and I kept this in my bedroom space so good but you guys the fragrance on this it is compatible to what's in the wallflower bulb but the throw this did not fill my bedroom space up the way I desired it to. Very minimal throw. I'm very curious to know how well it performs on a wax warm, I mean on a candle warmer, or how well it performs in conjunction with the wallflower bulbs being in the wall and the candle being lit or melting on the warmer. So I am going to not give up on it and buy another one and try to see if it performs better and if it just requires a little more tender loving care as far as how you blend it and you really get the maximum benefit from your um, fragrance. So again, this is the clean sheets. All right, the next one, this is another one of the Christmas pickups. This is a first for me in my collection. This is the Land of Snow. Land of Snow has notes of snowy cypress, ice juniper berries, frozen oak moss. This smells just like what I imagine a Christmas tree farm with other plants with some juniper. Oh, it just smells so good. It doesn't have like a balsam note to it. No balsam, but it does have that that woody note to it. That woody, piney, like you smell some type of pine or some type of shrubbery. It has just that shrubbery note. It throwed, it performed very well. It filled up the um, foyer and the living space area. I had it sitting right in the front foyer and it performed really well. But I did blend it with something that I did not really care for in my collection and I wanted to make it through it. But this was a good candle. So the one that I blended it with is this one right here. This is something I've had in my collection a couple years and I didn't like it. So I had already burned it one third ways down. So I really wanted to make it through it and get through it. I don't know what it is about this candle that I just don't like. It has crisp mountain air, fresh lavender, a touch of musk. I think the lavender and the musk together is, is, is not for me. It doesn't smell bad, but it's just not a fragrance that's pleasing to me. So it had a very beautiful burn, had no problems with it. It did a little suiting, but not a whole lot. And um, it blended fairly well with this. It was more of a balance. I wouldn't say one took over the other, but this is something that I probably will never purchase again. I hate to say never because your palette does change, but I don't think I'll be checking for this, you guys. So again, this is the Dark Blue Night. All right, this is another one of my Christmas burns that I made it through. This is the Vanilla Balsam. Vanilla Balsam. Oh, this is so good. This candle is so good. I was tempted when they put some of those candles to 75% and I think you still can get this online for $13.25. I was tempted to get some but I said I'll just wait because I think this candle it frequents itself and it comes out well they frequent it and it comes out relatively every year. So the fragrance notes are balsam fir, frosted vanilla, snow capped pine needles with natural essential oils. Now before you say anything the Balsam, if you're not a Balsam fan, try this. This is what you want to get because this Balsam is not your everyday Balsam. The Balsam is there and if you can differentiate between the Balsam and the Vanilla, you definitely get the Balsam. But the Vanilla that they put in here, you guys, it really, really stood up and it completely balanced the Balsam out. Balanced it out so much till this was not a highly fragranted throw in my main bedroom area. It just wasn't strong enough for that area. So what I did was I pulled out my last and only balsam and pineapple that I picked up at last semi-annual for the summer blend. I wish I had gotten more of those. I think I only bought like three or four. 
Really enjoyed the candle. I wish I had gotten more. I may go to my car and see if I can find it. But I blended it with that and my room was everything. So it was like a fruity, balsam, gourmand, vanilla. It was just everything mixed up in one. And it was a vibe. Again, the vanilla balsam. We're almost done, just a few more. Give me a few more minutes. But if you have not subscribed to the channel, if you would, please go ahead and subscribe. Please give the video a thumbs up. It really does matter. It makes a difference in my algorithm. And for this to work, I need to be in the proper algorithm. That's just what it is. So thank you in advance. All right, so moving on to the next one. This is the Linen and Lavender. Beautiful. This is so pretty. I'm your gaudy girl. I'm just kind of extra when it comes to aesthetics, the way I look, the way I dress, all of that. But it's something about the simplistic white barn matte jars that is just so good to me. The fragrance notes are crisp linen, lavender sea salt, and fresh air. All right, this was a lavender explosion you guys but you did get the crispiness from it and the um crisp air so it's like a overly clean lavender but i wish it had more crispy linen opposed to the lavender so um i picked up a few of these and i want to hold them out into the springtime to see if there's going to be a difference but um, it's a pretty decent candle. I enjoyed it. I burned it in the bedroom space. I do think that it provides a very relaxing ambience. So if you're a person who likes to light candles while you are taking a soap bath or just relaxing in your bedroom space, this will be the one for you. All right, the next one is another one of the newer candles. Really enjoyed this. I think this is the second one. This is either the second one or I have another one in my collection. So this is the Pink Rose and Leather. Pink Rose and Leather. It has supple leather, blooming rose petals, comfort, and patchouli. Now somebody said it. Kimball or Seneca. One of them said it or maybe both. But this smells like new car leather with a patchouli rose incense. Mmm. It's good. Very nice burn. I think it's a a sexy type of candle um, it's it, it creates a particular vibe I did burn this in my bedroom space this is a good candle um, this is one of those candles that I would recommend gifting to a person because I don't think that the patchouli is too overbearing or the leather note or the rose note I really think that this would be a balanced candle to gift to a person, but I really enjoyed it. Perfect bedroom burn. All right, the next one is Paris Cafe. Paris Cafe, she came, she served, and she will or has already returned. So Paris Cafe does what she needs to do. Paris Cafe in my opinion, is a neutralizing fragrance. I really enjoy burning these, especially in a kitchen space, not only to create that um, coffee shop environment, but it also neutralizes and purifies the air after you cook certain foods. So very nice burn. Um, to me, I don't think Paris Cafe is as fragrant when you like the wicks as it is just smelling it on cold. I've never tried it on a lamp warmer, but it will be interesting to see. Now, I'm not saying that there's an issue with how it throws or how I like it throwing. It's not a blow you out of your space. I don't particularly like those type of candles anyway, but I'm just saying it smells a little bit more fragranted on cold than it does when it's lit. All right, now this last candle, my favorite second hort candle from the season. And let's just put a stamp in it. This is my favorite candle from this year or last year, 2022. All right, so this is the coffee and whiskey. The fragrance notes in coffee and whiskey are bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, a hint of coffee. And this comes in body care as well. This candle is so good. This candle is so 
so so so good till i would rather burn this in my bedroom space i want to just hoard all the good fragrance from it i really enjoyed it but this was one of the candles that i could not find in my store around um it was right before candle day or right after because i did not get this at candle day price this this crate of them that i bought but I bought a crate of them and they finally arrived. It took forever for them to arrive. So they finally got here, but I did not do the wax check. I did not, I don't remember doing the wax check to see if they popped out of the jar. When you do that, those candles are damaged, you guys, believe it or not. Because these wicks, they have like holders, little silver stumps at the bottom of them. And I think those stumps should be like, in position with some type of a heat adhesive but apparently these this one wasn't because i had a floating wick this is very hazardous you guys so be careful with this because this glass if it had gotten too too hot it could have eventually cracked the glass made a big mess and who knows it could have started a fire i'm not really sure but you can tell that it was just too hot because not only did it suit in that area but you see that same place it distorted the label that's just how hot it was and this looks like it's been melted and another way that i can tell that these wicks were just too hot too extreme for this is you should see some tunneling right here where this wick was no longer lit because i blew this one out this did not stay ignited for the duration of the candle i blew it out and when i would relight it i would not light this one but for some reason these wicks made the wax pool in a complete circumference which is kind of weird in my experiences so i had to really babysit this and watch this what i should have just did left it alone blew it out and never lit it back up and just put it on the lamp warmer but I'm a sucker for the flame. I just love the flicker of the flame. But don't get caught up in your vibe and your ambience because that could not be safe when you're dealing with fire. So I made it through two single wicks. This was a, under the Christmas tree. I picked this up at SAS. I put it on the lamp warmer. It was really good. Really good. Perfect for this time of year. The fragrance notes were fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. I'm really thinking about getting one of these in three week next year. This is my first time having this candle. I only purchased it because it was cheap. All right, so this is something that I had in my collection and I just wanted to burn Twisted Peppermint and I lit it in the vanity bathroom area. This is peppermint, just like peppermint, peppermint. So crushed peppermint is not Twisted Peppermint. This is way more fragranted. So this is another air purifying candle. It has notes of cool peppermint, sugared snow, fir balsam with natural essential oils. Worked really well in that small vanity bathroom space. So I wanna thank you guys for coming back to the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you stuck it out for the duration of the video, thank you, but I just could not hold this empties because I'm currently burning and we have two more weeks left in the month of January. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Please leave any questions about the candles below, any comments about your experiences with any of these candles that I shared with you. And do not forget you, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.